Now in this video we are going through the Medieval Empire's token launch which is launching in 6 days and 13 hours, not long left at all. It's got a completely docs team which includes Carl the Moon as an angel investor as you can see here. The token will launch in different launch pads with the most notable one being Bybit. Now this is a multiplayer online strategy game and let me tell you that I believe this project has a lot of potential for the upcoming bull market to bring in some huge gains. Now before we go any further, nothing's ever financial advice, I'm just bringing you the information that I have and my personal opinions. With that being said, this video is also sponsored by Medieval Empires, shout out to them for sponsoring this video. With that being said, now let's get straight into it and let me tell you a bit more about the token, about the game itself and the project as a whole. To start off with, the YouTube channel is actually um, verified on YouTube of course for Medieval Empires and they have different AMAs regarding the project, answering your questions, talking about the token on Bybit and actually how to buy it. The link to the YouTube channel will be in the description so you can actually get to hear about the project right from the team in different AMAs. Now with that out of the way now, as mentioned, the token will be able to be purchased in different launch pads like WePad, Bybit and there is a couple more which I'll be leaving down in the description. Now the token launch as mentioned will be out in 6 days, 13 hours, 30 minutes and 21 seconds. The link to this website for the token launch will be in the description so you guys will be able to see the countdown exactly. But if you scroll down, click on sign up, you can see that you can actually go ahead and sign up to get yourself one of these tokens you can have to put your name your email address and your wallet address and you can go ahead and click on sign up so you can see here thank you your submission has been received and um, depending on the situation you might actually have the chance on getting early access and pre-sold to the me e token the medieval empires token now regarding the token if you scroll down here we're going to go through all the info we have so regarding where you can actually get yourself the me tokens um it will be in different exchange listings and launch pads like WePad, as we mentioned. The time and dates are exactly here. Um, engine starts on the 13th of December, which is actually tomorrow, but really it adds up all the way down to the Bybit exchange on the 19th of December, which is going to be the official launch in Bybit. Trustpad, BitStarter, Pools, Engine Starter, that's all going to be leading up to 17th of December. And throughout that time, they will be having launch pad days throughout that. If you scroll down here, we can see that how to get the MME token during the token generation event, which is the current moment really where the tokens are being launched. You'll be able to first access to acquire the MME token. Once this event has taken place, all tokens are unlocked at the time and we distributed, which will include AMA rewards giveaways via the social channel that they have held over the last year and give the first batch of unlocked contributor allocations. However, you'll also be able to acquire MME tokens through the following partner exchanges and launch pads. So for a lot of you watching this video, the second part will come into play where you'll be able to buy the MME tokens in different exchanges like Bybit in particular. Now the MME token, the utility token in the Medieval Empires game. MME is a utility token used for premium content and voting rights. This token therefore has to be limited supply and might be a significant rise in value over time. Being the utility token of Medieval Empires game economy, the MME token will provide several benefits including voting power and VIP status within the influence over the game rules, access to purchase NFTs such as land, early use of game features and access to airdrops. Moreover, MME tokens will be tradable on an exchange marketplace as per the vesting period. And if you've got more questions, we, we, we are going to be going through the frequently asked question page soon. Now sign up again if you want to sign up, the link to this will be in the description. There's no guarantee you'll have your spot to buy these tokens, however, you might as well give it a shot. Now regarding the tokenomics which are obviously really important of the token, flawless and strong tokenomics design of the game is one of the core strengths and we're going to go through the tokenomics right now. So. Regarding the distribution, 20% will be on the play and own, 5% will go towards exchanges and liquidity exchanges as well, 29% will go towards the treasury, dev operations, marketing and airdrops. So really 29% will be going for the operations of this game, 5% will be for the advisors for this project, 15% will be going to the team, right, so the actual team, 
1% to social projects, this could be even marketing purposes, 14% will be going to seed, 7% will be going towards the private sale, and 4% will be going to the public sale, 3% IDO plus 1% IEO. Now, the initial market cap is $870,000, right? Now, this is actually a really low market cap, meaning there's gonna be a lot of room for growth. If you go over to Coin Market Cap, a lot of these tokens obviously have a much higher market cap, and a lot of these games will be. I mean, if you look at some of these game tokens, if you you know scroll down there's some tokens here that they'll be competing with and they can definitely take over you know they'll be taking a market share from these gaming tokens and these gaming tokens market cap are much much higher so 800,000 is obviously really early stages for the project and of course depending on how much you believe in it you'll be able to take a bet on it that this game will actually do good and you could be looking at some massive returns now with that being said going back to the tokenomics seed private round will be 3,675,000 Fully diluted market cap will be 27 million. Um, total capital raising will be 4.7 million. Initial circulating supply will be 2.9%. And the public round will be 1,100,000. Now, token sale and generation. Total token sale will be 24%. And the total tokens will be 3 billion. And here again, we get to see how it will be distributed and the price of the token and how much it will actually be. So for the public, from the looks of it, it will be at one cent. And if you go back to the seed price, it would have been 0.005. And in the public IDO, it will be 0.009. Now, of course, there is going to be locking periods. Feel free to pause or actually check out the website to see how long this locking period will be. But it will obviously depend on how early you got into this project. Now, more info on the regarding the tokenomics, you can actually join the Discord and Telegram and also follow them on Twitter as they are posting active updates throughout. So if you do want to do, go ahead and do that. All the links will be below. Right, with that being said, I'm going to go through the pitch deck as there is a lot of cool info to go through. So join us with visualizing $200 billion gaming market. So the gaming market is expected to almost double to over $300 billion by 2027, a growth largely fueled by blockchain tech. And yes, it is seeming like that the blockchain gaming and just gaming and esports actually in general will be one of the fastest growing industries in this decade. Blockchain tech is what backs digital currencies such as Bitcoin, but that's not what it's used in this case. Blockchain games allow users for the very first time to truly own their in-game assets such as heroes, trading cards, building cards, etc. You know, if you go back to let's say a game like Fortnite where I actually played it a lot of years back, you know, I actually did not own any of the purchases I made within the game. I must have spent a couple thousand dollars in total buying different skins and items and at the end of the day I did not own any of it. I didn't own, own any of it, it was simply just in my account. Now with that being said, with blockchain gaming of course you'll be owning your own assets. Now making use of technology a revolutionary new way of designing video games is now possible. This means that the time and effort invested in playing a game can be converted into actual money. If you look at the gaming crypto market and its growth and how it will grow, you can see it's going to be one of the fastest growing. The average gamer is a male and a 35 year old. The gaming industry now generates 3.5x more revenue than the film industry and a massive 9x more revenue than the music industry so yes you might think that are oh, more people listen to music than actually play games but well the people that play games spend much more money than the individuals that listen to music as obviously that is way more accessible established brands are joining it as well like ubisoft windows ea facebook nike gucci adidas and samsung really big names they're going to be joining their gaming crypto market and some of them have already made a leap like ubisoft have already been talking about nfts and web 3.0 and how they're going to establish it but yeah definitely have a look into that the medieval empires is a multiplayer strategy game based in a blockchain powered historical world build explore conquer and play own starring internationally acclaimed actor Englin Atlan, Tuziatan and Ertugrul Gazi. Hopefully I got those names right. If not, I do apologize. The game aims to provide a state-of-the-art Web 3.0 experience to fans, games and blockchain enthusiasts alike. Medieval Empire USPs, the unique selling points, pop culture and um, crypto blockchain and gaming. Now, of course, these guys will have pop culture, a really big name from the looks of it. 
um, an international actor starring in critically acclaimed TV production with over 9 billion views worldwide. Engin Altan as Yutan will revive his role as Eragul Ghazi in the Medieval Empires game. And this guy from the looks of it is a really famous individual in his country as an actor. Next of course we got Carl Runefout the Moon who's got over 400, uh, 4 million followers sorry, all over his socials. A massive crypto following, definitely one of the largest crypto influencers in this space. If you do not know about Carl the Moon, I highly doubt you don't, you should definitely check him out. Next up we got the experienced team who've got a lot of experience by the way. They are a highly talented team of 40 plus people with a combined industry experience of 200 plus years. They've worked in different companies um, like Inno Games, War Gaming and King along with blockbuster movies like Star Wars, Rogue, Squadron and so on and they also worked in gaming titles like World of Tanks which I'm actually aware of and Forge of Empires which I've also seen before. Uh, which is insane, right? They got some great, great team that are well connected in the gaming space. Now, Medieval Empire unique selling points. Barrier free technology is free to play and own, so you'll be owning your own assets in the game and completely free to play. And the game showcase you can see here just an early prototype of the game. And here is the investment opportunity for this game. Now, in the current investment round, they're aiming to raise $5 million in total. In this round, you'll get a one time token price of 0.0075 per token, so literally a fraction of a cent. If you look at here, you can see these are other games like I was trying to show you earlier. The market caps for these obviously really high because they have been around throughout this last bull cycle but if you look at it in this case Elevium for example you can see it went on an initial sale of 0.025 and it went all the way up to 1800 the Decentraland which by the way went all the way up to five dollars for my initial sale of, of two cents and if you look at um, tokens like Axie Infinity it went from 15 cents all the way up to 160 of course in the last bull market in 2021 and if you look at the current price of 0 0.0075 there is similar room for growth if not better you know in the next bull market when there is more adoption into the blockchain gaming industry revenue streams for the company itself will be from royalties of course renting out land in-game purchases and 80 percent will be coming from nft sales from land heroes units and resources as of course if you're playing the game Instead of this time buying, let's say, your skins on Fortnite, CSGO, your knives and stuff, in this case, you'll be owning it and you'll be paying for them to own. And in this case, the sales will, will be NFT sales going to the medieval empires in forms of land, heroes, units and resources. And the revenue expectations for the next year are as follows. You know, these are obviously our estimates in 2022, 19 million euros, 2023, 15 million plus, And this is how they're predicting it. Now the roadmap until Q2 2023, this is the roadmap, now you can feel free to pause it, but really the main thing to take away from it is they have a long term vision with this game, going all the way up, really in detail as well, they're doing a lot of work and after all they do have a team of 40 employees and if you go down here the useful links, all the links by the way here will be in the description for you guys to check out and of course the team is completely doxxed. And um, that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. Of course, remember the token launch will be um, in different launch pads. By bit on the 19th, you will need to subscribe um, with 50 bit tokens or 100 USDT as a lottery. So you can actually go ahead and get into this pre sale. All the links for the pre sales will be down below. It's been your boy Crypto Alert. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.